everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here to review the Spongebob episode, What's Eating Patrick? So What's Eating Patrick is about when Bikini Bottom is celebrating Founders Day. Spongebob gets really excited for Founders Day, Squidward is... Well, he's Squidward. Mr. Krabs, he gets excited, but not for Founders Day, for this eating competition. The only problem is that there is this champion who can eat more Krabby Patties than anyone in Bikini Bottom. No one can beat this champion. Everyone is afraid to compete against this champion because he just gulps Krabby Patties all at once. So Mr. Krabs was disappointed to see that no one pretty much entered the Krabby Patty competition. So he needed someone that he can train and someone, according to him, that's stupid. Who does he obviously get? This guy right here, he actually tries to get Patrick to enter in the Krabby Patty competition against this guy. But since this fish, literally, he doesn't even taste it. He just gulps it. Like, it's freaking crazy. So, Mr. Krabs has to train Patrick in order to be the ultimate champion and pretty much defend Bikini Bomb's honor because no one in Bikini Bottom likes this guy. So what's eating Patrick is so awesome. Patrick, your episodes are on fire this year in 2015. Of all the SpongeBob episodes coming out in 2015, I think Patrick's episodes, in my opinion, have been on fire. The executive treatment was a home run. That's a that's another episode I really loved watching, and that's the same for What's Eating Patrick. I was just watching this episode with a big smile on my face because the storyline with Patrick having to compete against the champion no one in Bikini Bottom wants to compete against. I love that concept. I thought this episode handled it very well. This episode even references Rocky. Yeah, Rocky starring Sylvester Stallone, one of the best movies ever made. That just makes What's Eating Patrick more awesome than it already is. It's just really cool to see Patrick training how to eat the Krabby Patties without tasting them. It's a problem with Patrick, however, because he actually wants to taste the Krabby Patties. And this episode as a whole is so freaking funny. I was laughing so hard watching this episode, guys. There's even a point where I laughed so hard I pretty much turned red. That's how funny and clever this episode was. It really was clever and how it approached the storytelling. And you could tell the writers went all out with this episode. They got really creative with it. They knew exactly where to go with this episode. They kept it simple. They kept it very entertaining. And of course, with a character like Patrick, you're no, you know you're in for some episode because, oh man. And I did, of course, love the climax with Patrick and the Krabby Patty eating champion. We know, obviously, Patrick's going to be the winner, but you know what? That doesn't matter because, one, I love Patrick, and two, it's awesome to see him being now officially the Bikini Bottom uh, Krabby Patty eating champion. <laughs> so he has that belt. He puts it on, but then his belly is so big that the belt actually flings and it hurts that little boy that has what everyone's saying in this episode, the little boy with the hurt foot. I do have one major flaw with this episode, however, and that's Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs was a pretty big jerk. Not the jerkiest of the jerks. We've all seen Mr. Krabs become far worse in other episodes. But that's still not going to really excuse that Mr. Krabs was pretty mean. Especially when it was the day of the competition. You know, Patrick is so exhausted. He doesn't want to do this Krabby Patty eating competition. But you know what Mr. Krabs does in order for Patrick to still do the competition? He actually blackmailed Patrick by showing him the bill. Mr. Krabs actually told Patrick if he does not do the Krabby Patty eating competition, Mr. Krabs is going to make Patrick pay for all of the Krabby Patties that Patrick ate when he was training for this competition. So poor Patrick was forced to do the competition when he really didn't want to. So yeah, I didn't appreciate Mr. Krabs for that. 
And then also, this is not really a flaw with me, but I did find it weird how after that scene with Mr. Krabs blackmailing Patrick with the bill, Mr. Krabs all of a sudden doesn't show up in the episode anymore. He's not even there when Patrick, as we predicted, wins the Krabby Patty eating competition. You know, you would think you would see maybe a glimpse of Mr. Krabs jumping with cheer or something, but... Yeah, surprisingly, he's not in like the final couple of minutes of the episode when we see that climax with Patrick and that Krabby Patty eating champion. But overall, guys, I really love watching What's Eating Patrick. I think it is one of the best episodes to come out in 2015 as far as the SpongeBob SquarePants episodes. It was a basic but creative episode. It had an awesome reference to Rocky. It was very funny. It was very clever. It was so well executed. I had a big smile on my face. I just had a wonderful time watching it. It was such a delight. Two thumbs up to the writers and everyone involved with this episode. And I am going to give What's Eating Patrick an 8.5 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know. What did you think of What's Eating Patrick? This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.